In 1865, one of the most famous photographers of the Civil War prepares to board a U.S. Navy ironclad ship in the Potomac River. His name is Alexander Gardner. For nearly four years, Gardner has photographed some of the most heinous battle scenes of the Civil War. He has also captured the image of President Abraham Lincoln more often than any other photographer. There is a very famous photograph of Abraham Lincoln with his son Tad leaning on the table. That was one that Gardner took. Gardner also took another one, that same setting of Lincoln with his hand upon his head. And it was not the harsh, warlorn look that we know of Lincoln, but something that was much softer. Lincoln had written a, a note to Gardner and saying, Mr. Gardner, I appreciate the photograph so much. I believe that the one with my hand upon my head is one of the finest ones ever taken of me. The process of making a glass plate photograph is arduous. Equipment is bulky, and in order to get good images, the subject has to sit still for up to 15 seconds. It involved coating a plate with this collodion mixture. It then went to a dark room. They had to not only bring these big cumbersome cameras with them, they had to have some sort of a portable dark room with them. They would compose their photograph, making sure the sitter didn't move, making sure the camera was stable, didn't move. The plate was still sitting in complete darkness until the lens cap was removed. Once that was removed, that was their exposure. They then recapped the lens. That was basically their shutter. They rushed it back to the darkroom before the plate dried, develop it right away, wash it, and then they would have to varnish that plate after it dried. That's what preserved that image on there. And it was on there forever. Now, Gardner and his assistant moved the photography equipment on board the ship. Equipment so sensitive that the pictures can capture the pores in a person's skin. On board are six men, all being held for their part in the conspiracy to assassinate President Abraham Lincoln. Mary Surratt and Dr. Samuel Mudd are held at a city prison on shore. One by one, these conspirators are led on deck under heavy guard. Gardner poses them and then takes a series of images that will become some of the most famous in the world. You can see where he almost creates mug shots of them, but there's that artistic flair from an artist that he wants it to be photographically pleasing. You look at some of the pictures of Louis Payne, he almost looks like a model, the way he's standing and the way they have him clothed in a coat and a hat, trying to get the best look of him possible. They know their importance of being the first photojournalist, but yet there's still that artist in them that's sort of screaming to get out. 